Okay, today we're going to be taking a look at MX-17 Horizon. MX-17, it's a Linux distro. It's probably more aimed at intermediate users. Um, and that's for one reason that I'll get into a bit later. But uh, it's a Debian-based distribution using the XFC4 desktop, which they've set up to the way they like to use it. Um, it might not be your cup of tea with the panel on the left. I know I don't really like that that much, but that's very easy to change. It's highly customizable. Uh, when you first boot into it, you'll get this welcome screen here, which has a built-in user's manual. It uh, goes through everything, how to use it, how to install it, uh, all of the basic operations. It's built in, so you don't need to be uh, connected to the internet for this. The uh, link to their wiki page, which will open up Firefox to their wiki. Uh, shortcut to their tools. And this is one of the big selling points of MX Linux is the MX tools. Um, I really, really like this. I think this is a great for a, for a beginner to configure basically everything on your system. If you want to install your uh, NVIDIA drivers or your... Uh, set up your, uh, install your codecs for playing different uh, MP3s and whatnot. Uh, all the shortcuts are here for doing everything that you would uh, need to do. This is new, this iDevice mounter. I don't have like an iPhone or an iPod or anything like that or an iPad. But uh, this is supposed to help you with mounting it, I guess. I'm not too sure exactly how that works, but that's new. Uh, Live USB Maker. <coughs> You can uh, make your own USB. I looked into it a little bit. It seems a bit complicated for me, but it's uh, able to make a live USB key from your system as you have it set up. That's the way I understand it. A snapshot, same thing. Um, they go together, create a live ISO snapshot if you're running system. And this is a full featured live USB. Uh, for maintenance, boot repair, menu editor, user manager, um, everything is in here. It's uh, really, really handy. Here's where I'm a little bit let down is in the package manager. I have to enter in your password. Now, this is really great for a uh, first setup. You can have here all the popular apps are all here, audio. You can just select what you want, say you want to have Audacity. And then you can go through it, all the different browsers and uh, children's things, docs. I've already got uh, Plank installed. Uh, file managers, there's there's a bunch of, you know, most of the, uh, the most popular Linux applications are in here. But they don't really have a package manager apart from this. You can go to their full app catalog choose the stable repo if you want to have your most uh, stable system that's probably the best way to go but what you're left with is sort of a synaptic experience where you have to know basically what you're looking for you have to know the name of it like if I chose 0 AD here have a small description but there's not much there just waiting for it to uh, update the uh, package list before I can have full access to this. Takes a little bit of a while to update everything from the repos. But anyways, you get the idea that uh, if this distribution had a better package management system, um, I think it would be the, the, the best distro for any uh, desktop that you can get. But this is what lets me down a little bit. Say, I, I don't know what this is. Play chess across three boards. What? And there's not really much more information than that. So, like I say, if you know what you're looking for, and you, you know what the applications are, so if you're basically an intermediate user, this is the distribution for you. If you, if you enjoy Debian-based uh, distributions, this should be the top of your list, I think. It's a very smooth, light, uh, light resource usage, highly configurable, um, 
we'll just close this and uh, go through the menu a bit. You have access to your shortcuts to your MX tools that we were just in there. Conkey toggle, if you want to turn your conkey on or off, you just click there. Your conkey is now off. And there we go, it's back on. So very easy to do, you don't have to do any uh, terminal or anything. Uh, what else was there? I just wanted to take a quick look here through... Uh, um, there, the tweak tool. Because here you can do, here's the way I usually like it set up, have the panel on the top, hit apply, and it sets your panel up there, which to me uh, seems to make more sense because what I do after that is I'll put my dock plank on the bottom. Here, I'll just do it for you to give you an idea of what that's like. Uh, where is plank? Plank is there. There we go. Then we have a little dock on the bottom for your, your most used shortcuts. And then access your menu and your taskbar and whatnot, your system tray and your little clock up there. Close. Actually, I'll go back to that just to show you a little bit of some of the other stuff you can do, which is really nice. You can choose a theme set. Uh, say you want to have a MX-17 theme in dark. You can preview it here and it shows you. And you go, yeah, I kind of like that. So you apply. And there you go. You have a different theme set up. And go to the Numix theme and icons. I'll preview it. Yep, that sounds good. I'll apply that. Hey, and I like that. I think I'm going to leave it like that. Uh, your compositor, you can have choose your XFC compositor or Compton. Uh, right now I don't seem to have anything, which is fine. Everything's working good as it is. Okay, I close that. So there's there's a bunch of stuff you can play around with. A lot of it is, is stuff that you can easily find in the... Uh, regular XFC settings you could go to the appearance and choose different appearance to there but your settings you have access to your tools in your settings as well um, very very complete uh, there's really nothing missing here other than like I said a better package management system if they had uh, say, you know, a graphical package management system if you if you're comfortable with the command line um, you know, it's, this, there's probably no real need for a graphical, you know, GUI package manager. But for someone who's a beginner, uh, coming from Windows or Mac OS, where you don't really know the terminal at all, um, you it would really help to have a good graphical uh, uh, package manager, I guess. So yeah, um, I don't think I really need to sell that point much more. So if the MX developers are listening, uh, work on that, please. And then you'll have uh, probably the top distribution, as far as I'm concerned, at least. Um, I really, really like this distro. Um, no problem. Super stable based on Debian. Um, yeah, there's really not much more to say, but uh, I hope that this distribution gets... Uh, more noticed and uh, more talked about. It's it's a really really fine uh, distro. Highly recommended, basically for intermediate users. Um, maybe for beginners if they work on that package management system. Okay, that'll be it for today. So thanks for listening, and I'll talk to you next time.